knock knock i can't sleep well this person is really busy sleeping but i can't sleep do you mind talking with me for a while hey do you recognize me yes of course you do right i am the queen i am the king of the whole human body why is that even a question well cause i control all the functions of the human body i am extremely hard working well today i will be talking to you about myself i hope you don't mind do not forget to subscribe to my channel the medicos if you haven't subscribed yet and do press the bell icon to get notified every time i upload my upcoming videos the brain is enclosed inside the cranial cavity of the skull bone from external to internal it is covered by skin then bone then three meningeal layers that is dura mater arachnoid and the pia mater and the cerebrospinal fluid Does this picture of the brain remind you of something? Yes, it is the walnut. Now, the line which you can see in the walnut is also present in the brain which divides it into two parts, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Now, when you open the brain and you see on the internal, you can see the cerebral medulla and when you see it on the external side, it is known as the cerebral cortex. inside the brain there are millions of minute structures which are known as the neurons which form the structural unit of the brain and are responsible for transporting the impulse brain is further divided into four brain this consists of cerebrum now cerebrum constitutes 85% of the whole brain and there are multiple sulci and gyri which are present on its surface in order to increase the surface area of the brain so that it can accommodate millions of neurons the second one being the olfactory bulb thalamus the hypothalamus and the pituitary which are both responsible for the endocrine functions of our body midbrain midbrain consists of the tectum and the corpora quadrigemina hindbrain Hind brain consists of the cerebellum, pons, and medulla oblongata. Now, the red-colored band which you can see is the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum is responsible for connecting both the left and the right hemisphere of the brain together. Now, the cerebrum of the brain is further divided into frontal lobe, parietal, occipital, and the temporal. talking about the other parts of the brain situated in the cerebral medulla include cingulate gyrus which is an arch shaped convolution situated just above the corpus callosum it is involved for the behavior and emotions of a person hippocampus it is embedded into the temporal lobe and has a major role in the learning and memory of a person amygdala which is almond shaped helps to regulate the emotion and encode memories then thalamus Now thalamus is a paired gray matter and located near the center of a brain it relays sensory impulse from the receptor in various parts of the body to the cerebral cortex it is also known as the master gland hypothalamus it is a gland in the brain which controls the hormonal system next talking about the pituitary which is a pea sized endocrine gland situated at the base of the brain and is directly connected by the hypothalamus Now if you see in the diagram then you can see that hypothalamus and the pituitary are connected to each other through a hypophyseal stalk brain now hindbrain involves pons medulla and cerebellum firstly talking about the functions of the pons it includes it relays the sensory information to the cerebellum it connects the forebrain to the hindbrain it regulates breathing it is involved in controlling the sleep wake cycle now there are four pairs of the cranial nerves which are arising from the pons these include firstly the trigeminal nerve also known as the dentis nerve which is responsible for the sensation of skin touch taste and jaw movement 
abducens nerve responsible for the movement of the eye facial nerve responsible for the facial expression then the vestibular cochlear nerve or the auditory nerve responsible for the hearing and equilibrium now talking about the medulla medulla performs various functions it is connected by the pons to the midbrain and continues as a spinal cord it helps in breathing maintaining blood pressure and temperature and circulating blood and digestion it is involved in regulating the sleep wake cycle just like the pons and similarly there are four pairs of the cranial nerves which are arising from the medulla these include glossopharyngeal which is responsible for the taste salivation and the swallowing the vagus nerve or the pneumogastric nerve responsible for the visceral sensation and visceral movements like breathing or cardiac etc spinal accessory which is responsible for the movement of the larynx pharynx neck and just shoulder and lastly hypoglossal nerve which is responsible for movement of the tongue now talking about the cerebellum as we know cerebellum is well known as the arbor vitae or the tree of life it is also known as the little brain since it constitutes about 5 to 10% of the whole brain the functions involved are motor learning next the sense of the body position it is involved in the balance and the equilibrium of the body and it performs fine movement coordination revising all the functions of the brain it includes frontal lobe which is responsible for behavior intelligence memory and movement temporal lobe responsible for the behavior of a person hearing memory speech and the vision brain stem which is responsible for blood pressure breathing swallowing consciousness and heartbeat cerebellum being responsible for balance and coordination of a person the occipital lobe is responsible for the optical vision and last but not the least the parietal lobe which is responsible for the intelligence language reading and sensation revision time I hope you can recognize all the question marks and answer correctly. I hope you got correct answers. I hope you are able to answer to all these questions. If yes, do write the answers in the comment section. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel.